Hello and welcome to DigiWester.com. The reason of this video is to tell you what to do when your shares in the previous level expire. Alright, so let's go to, oops, yeah, see that's my handsome face right there. Let's go to my paying ads first. Once you've entered your username and password, it's time to log in. Now after you've logged in, the first thing you're going to see is, of course, your login ads. Uh, right, I'm going to continue to my advertising dashboard. Since the purpose of this is to show you what to do with your previous levels, I'm going to go straight to share history. As you can see, I'm on level 7 right now. I've got 18 shares active that are on level 7 and you'll see I, I always max out on all my previous levels okay but now you see there is only 198 active shares here in ad pack level 1 and there's 198 in ad pack level 5 which means alright so from levels 1 to 9 the maximum number of shares uh, active shares that it can hold is 200 all right so i keep everything at 200 200 200 level 10 is different don't bother level 10 until you reach level 10 okay i'm right now in seven all my previous levels i must keep it at 200 some time ago somebody asked me the difference between active shares and total shares why do i have 928 shares in level one when i have 198 active shares here it's very simple from the beginning of when I joined my ping ads I've been buying I started with level one so every share that you purchase whether it's expired or active they go into your total shares okay and uh, once they expire like they expired over here I had 200 here just this morning uh, two of them expired meaning they matured which is a good thing meaning I've got paid in full uh, a one dollar pack in ad pack level one gives you gives me 1.2 dollars in return so those two shares that expired have given me 1.2 dollars they've done their work and they have retired okay so i only have 198 that are working for me i must make it 200 okay so i'm going to go to and and then you will understand the two new shares that i'm going to buy it will show 200 active and it adds to the total shares again here okay because it consists of both active and expired so i'm here right now uh here's another thing you'll notice on the page here for buying shares every time you max out on a pack you will not find that uh at pack level mentioned okay so i'm gonna max out. i just need two more shares to reach 200 on ad pack level one so I'm going to enter two. You see ad pack plan one here, right? You're not going to see out. You're not going to see this after I buy my two shares. Okay. Yes, pay now. I want to show you the active shares I have now. So I'm going to click there. You see that? Just before I had 198 active shares. Now I have 200 shares here. Earlier I had 928 total shares. Now these two new shares have also been added to the total shares, obviously. So total shares, again, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a combination of your active shares and all the shares that you've bought till now, meaning your expired ones as well. Okay, so now that I've maxed out here, I want to start, I want to buy however many shares I can on my ad pack five. Let's go back to purchase shares. Remember I told you uh, once you max out a level you're not going to see it on that page? Do you see ad pack level 1 here? No, right? You only see ad pack 5 because I have two more shares to max out. When I say max out, meaning the maximum number of active shares that I can possibly have on that particular level. I, you can see ad pack level 7 because obviously I have not maxed out there. I'm just on 18 of there. Ad pack 8, 9, 10, 11, because I've not maxed out on any of them. Um, how many shares can I buy? One share cost is $10. I have a total balance of $12. So obviously I can buy how many? A hundred of them. Wrong. One. And you will see that here. Now I have 199 active shares in level 5. I just need one more active share so I can max out and continue buying on ad pack level 7. 
So that's how you keep refilling your previous levels, okay? Anytime that the number of active shares goes down in your previous level or they expire or mature and give you the full uh, payment for whatever they were working for, go and repurchase them. Go and buy new ones. Go and buy new ones. Uh, I am on level 7, but I am still buying and refilling all the expired shares in the lower levels. Why? Because that is going to make me earn more. You see the lower... Uh, uh, the higher levels like level 7, 8, 9, 10, they give you bigger returns. But the lower levels make you more money per day than the higher levels. Okay, And you need more money pumping in all the time, all the time, all the time. So your per hour earning is higher. Okay, When it's higher, you're able to buy more shares. When it's higher, you're able to compound, add up more. Okay, So that is a strategy to keep yourself earning more. And that is a strategy that also helps my paying ads to pay out more. That's about it. Keep purchasing, keep buying. Don't let the lower levels drop. All right, don't let them just keep dropping and expiring. Keep refilling them. I just have two dollars twenty-two cents. I'll wait for the next payment till I get another eight dollars, so I can buy this max out and then continue with my twenty dollars. So that's it, guys. That's it for my video. God bless you. I hope you have a great weekend, great earning. Keep repurchasing, max out every level to two hundred shares. Uh, long live MPA. Long live Udenara. God bless you, guys. Bye bye.